folder and uh, you can get different information from the file the user has uploaded for example the size so in this case I'm checking to see if the size is bigger than 1000 bytes and if it is I'll just echo more than 1000 bytes and yep so just go back here choose another file submit and it says more than a thousand bytes another thing you can do if you just want to put more files for the user to upload you just have to put an array there for each one so I'll just have two but and you're going to have to edit the PHP code and you're going to have to say which one so this is where the array goes for each of these and array there and array there you're going to have to do a for loop, so for uh, x equals 0, x to 2, x plus plus, yep, so you just put x here, x, 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 so that's, that's it for that part. This part's already done, this part's done. So we'll just go back. We have to reload this. Okay, so we got two. Put uh, this one and this one. Submit. Both were done successfully, and both were more than a thousand bytes, which is correct. We move on to cookies now. Uh, cookies a way to store information on the user's computer. Uh, like let's start off from the top. Uh, so it says if there's no cookie present, and that's the cookie name that has to be present, then I'll just say no cookie present, making cookie. So we get the current time, this is the current user's time on the computer clock. Uh, this is what's going to be in the cookie data, so it's going to be username and the slash and password so then if set cookie so we set the cookie so if that's successful then we we do nothing because that's all fine but if it isn't then we just say your computer does not support cookies and this is the time so that's 60 minutes so that's how long the cookie will stay on the user's computer so once this is done then we can just use the cookie and this is the little thing we used before and we get that's the name we're going to use of the cookie so we extract it from the cookie info so the name which is username and the password from the cookie and then we'll output it here okay so now I'll actually put the username and password so username we'll make it Alex and password we'll make it password so let's refresh it no cookie present making cookie that's all fine and we refresh it again and we have username Alex and password is password which is what we had here so cookies can be called from any page as long as they have this in it and the cookie does exist so now if you want to delete the cookie we've got set cookie cookie name nothing in there and put the time back so in other words you're kind of deleting it so we'll try that out it's going to say nothing but once we visit the previous page it'll say no cookie present so it did delete it so with cookies you can just keep putting as much data as you want keep in mind these this one and this one have to be the same to be able to read the cookie successfully unless of course you just have one variable in the cookie data now we move on to sessions 
So here we have session start, it has to be right up the top before any echoes or anything else. Then we have this little header code, this is an Internet Explorer 6 fix. So here we say if the session username cannot be found, username is just the variable since over here I store username. So if it can't be found then put this username and this password in the session and then after that if statement we have the the session username and password going into these two variables and then going to be printed out here so let's try this out and as you can see it's already printed out my name and my password and you don't have to refresh with sessions so sessions are active as long as the user does not uh, quit his browser or terminate the session. So now if you want to destroy the session uh, I, you can just use a check to see if it's still in use and then this just unsets all the variables and this just destroys the session. It's that easy. So you just do it and it's destroyed. You can do a little check to see if the session is really gone. So session username if it's if it's not there then just echo destroyed yep it's destroyed and that concludes lesson three